everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be testing out three new NYX products that just hit the drugstore. So I bought these with my own money and I did pick up the Brow Glue. Also picked up their new Lift and Snatch Soft Brow Micro Brush Tip Pen. Looks like that. And I also picked up this lip color as well. I got the shade, uh, this is all over TikTok apparently. I'm not on TikTok, but I heard about it. Um, this is the shade, I don't really know, it just says 04. I'm gonna say it's 04, so it's called Shine Loud. So I picked up one of those as well. So if you'd like to see me review these products, please keep watching. Now to be honest with you, I did wear this the other day, so this is not my first impression, because I just wanted to see how I felt about it. Um, so I'm going to apply it on camera and give you a little look at it. So again, I think this is the shade number four, pretty sure. So first I'm just going to start by lightly outlining the border of my lip, just to give my lips some sort of reference. I'm going to use this Joe Fresh number one double ended lip liner. This gave my lips a little bit of a border. Um, and then I'm going to go in and apply the color side. So from previous experience and from seeing people online apply this, the best way to do this is apply it. Do not rub your lips together because I find I did that the first time and it kind of looked crumbly around here. So just apply it. Do not smack your lips together. Let it dry and just wait for it to dry and then you apply the clear coat. Also like the applicator on these. I like how it's flat so it's really easy kind of to just get the perfect uh, border. If you have extremely dry lips, like extremely, I think that this will really show the dryness in your lip. But this little tip here at the point makes it super easy just to get to the very corners. So basically just apply one even coat and let it dry. It feels very tacky and very sticky. It starts to get very kind of, not uncomfortable feeling, but it does get a little bit dry and really tacky. But again, do not press your lips together. Do not rub them together. Just let it dry. I really like this shade. I picked this one up because I felt like it's very glamorous. It's not over the top, yet it's not understated. It's kind of just in between. It's definitely a very unique shade. I really, really like it. And after seeing how this wears, I think I would pick up the red one. And the reason why is because usually I hate wearing a glossy red lip because anytime you can pro you probably know this, if your hair gets stuck in a glossy red lip, and you pull it across your face, I get these red streaks and it just ruins your makeup. So the fact that I know how this wears, I think I will pick up the red one because it's a great way to give myself a really glossy red lip and I'm not gonna have any sort of mess happen. So that's great. So now that it feels like it's dry and it feels a tiny bit uncomfortable, just a little bit, we're gonna apply the gloss side. I like the applicator on the gloss. It looks, it looks like, kind of like a nail polish brush. So you're just gonna wanna apply the gloss this makes it look super glossy. I think Chanel, I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. I just read though, I think Chanel just came out with something like this. So there we have it, this beautiful glossy lip. Now the one unique thing about this is that when you apply the gloss over top, the lip color does not come off, it does not transfer. If you had to take any sort of, let's say, Stila liquid lipstick and apply it, yes, it's a great liquid lipstick, it will stay all day, but if you do apply a gloss over the Stila liquid lipstick, it will come off. The gloss will lift that formula and it will transfer off. With this formula, this is why it's so unique, for instance, the only thing that comes off on my hand is the gloss. It does not lift the formula, which is really cool. And that's why I'm really interested in picking up the red because I know that if my hair does come across my face, I'm not gonna get red streaks. It's just gonna be a little bit of gloss that I could probably blend in with my face. But so that's why this is so unique because it does not transfer. But my one tip for you would be to not rub after you apply this one thin coat of the product. Do not rub your lips together because you will get some weird lifting happening. Just let it sit, let it dry, put the gloss on top. So the next two products I have are brow products. So that's why I didn't do my brows yet today. So I'm going to actually brush my brow hairs down and we're going to test out this guy right here. So this is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen Micro Brush Tip for Hair Like Strokes. Does it have any advice for us? Let's see. Shake pen at a downward angle, fill in sparse areas with precise hair-like strokes and add definition to other brow areas. So you can do supernatural brows or you can do super snatch brows, whatever you prefer. I'm a little bit on the natural side, I would say. 
I did pick up soft brown. Um, I don't know if that was a mistake. I didn't want my brows to be too dark, but my hair, my roots of my hair, since I can't get to the hairdresser, are pretty dark. So my problem areas are definitely my tails. I don't have any hair that grows in there. It's just like minimal, very minimal. I have bush bushier brows right in the front part, but very minimal on the tail. So what I'm gonna try to do is draw some hair like strokes in my brows with this pen. Definitely easy to use, coming out nicely. Um, I would prefer though, the brush, the tip on it, you can see it's a uh, brush tip. I don't know if I would prefer, I think a felt tip might give you a little bit more of a hair-like feel rather than, rather than this brush tip, but I don't know. I don't usually use uh, products like this, so drawing flicks basically throughout my brow. I actually like the color. I find that the soft brown is nice. I think if I had to go with the brown, it could have been possibly too dark. It actually also feels cooling on my skin. I don't know if it's supposed to feel that way. So I'm going to take a spoolie. Just brush my brow. You can kind of see that this area right in here needs a bit more. I think this is very easy to use. Definitely user friendly. And I think for me, ideally, I probably wouldn't fill my whole eyebrow in using this. So what I would do, I love my Maybelline uh, brow extensions. So I probably would put the brow extension in first and then I would go in with this little pen towards the tails and make those hair like strokes possibly because I do find that the brow extension does give me more volume, especially around my tails. With this, it's a little bit harder. I think if I put a little bit more up in my tail, I think it might look phony. I don't know, maybe that's just me, let's just. It looks pretty natural, it doesn't look super drawn on. So here's one side with the pen, and then we have my natural brow on this side. I think the color is actually really nice. I was worried about it, but I think it's fine. Okay, so then we're gonna try out this, and I have tried this out. I did test it. I wanted to see how I felt about it. So this right here is the Brow Glue. Um, it's supposed to be one product for limitless brow looks, style brow hairs, and set into place, non-sticky, transparent formula with a precise spoolie for easy application. So I really do like the spoolie on this. I'll open it up and show you. Here's the product. It's very tiny. Uh, I can't even remember what I paid for this, um, but it's, you don't, let, let me just put it this way, you don't get a lot of products. So if you're using this every single day, you only get 0.17 ounces. It's not a lot of product at all. So if you're using this every day, this is not going to last you, I don't think, a very long time. The spoolie on it is really nice. It's a great... Uh, little tiny spoolie so you can really get into the brows. I did notice it does say it is transparent but I did notice it kind of can leave a little bit of a film in your eyebrow so what I've been doing is I take the wand and I kind of take off some of the product because I don't want too much because I find the buildup becomes a little bit much so I take off some of the product and then I just start to press it into the brow and I start to flick it up now I did try to do this first before the pen the other day. I can do my other eyebrow with this first maybe and give you an idea if you like to do that kind of thing. But I kind of like going in with the product and then I like setting it with this brow gel. Now I'm gonna tell you this brow gel is very powerful and it actually does hold your brow hairs in place and I really like it. Um, I find it actually has more power than the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, which is great. Like you can see the tails here. I can legit flick them up. It kind of looks ridiculous on me because I'm very sparse, but it actually, if you like that laminated brow look, you can totally do that with this product. I find it works extremely well. Like if I wanted to flick up the fronts of my brow hairs, like it does a really good job. My brows are very thick. I find it's not the ideal brow for like laminating, but like, as you can see, I don't even have that much product. I wiped off a lot of it and like, look, you can really stick your brow hairs up. This is not really the look I'm going for, but if that's the look you want, easy. You can do it easily with this product. Honestly, this is probably one of the best brow gels on the market, especially at the drugstore, for keeping your eyebrows in place. A lot of a lot of eyebrow gels say they keep your eyebrows in place and realistically they don't. Like they kind of do put a hold on it, but if you want like a hold on it with a lamination kind of look, this is where it's at. So I don't really like that lamination look with the this side of my eyebrow, so I kind of just 
took a spoolie and pushed them more in like a rounded shape for me. That's kind of looks better for me than having them stuck up. But like you could see the difference between my brows. It's, I'll brush this one up so it doesn't look as crazy. But like here is one brow with absolutely nothing in it. So it's sad, very sad. And then here's this eyebrow, which is just looking pretty, pretty damn fabulous. It looks good. Okay, so let's take this first. I know some people like to do this first. So let's let's do this side with this first and then flicking in the brow pen. Let's do that. I would say that the feeling of the glue is a little bit heavy. It's not like to the point where I feel like, oh my god, this is too heavy on my face that I have to take it off. No, no, no. I'm just saying you can kind of feel that you have a really heavy duty eyebrow glue in your eyebrow. Okay, so I'm wiping off again some of the product. Going in on my natural brow now. Maybe you just like applying a brow gel. So this is kind of how this product works with nothing in the eyebrow. Again, my eyebrows are very sad on the ends. But I find with this product, just really push it into the skin and lift up or do whatever you want, however, however you want to shape them, um, but yeah. Now you can see some, a little bit of white residue, and that's what, when it says it's completely transparent, I don't know, it kind of does dry down, like you're not going to see that, but it does leave a slight, I would say a slight film, tiny film, and nothing like to the point where it looks like you have a ton of eyebrow glue in, because this one looks pretty good, um, but it does leave a tiny bit, it does dry down a bit though. And then I'm going to go in with our brow pen again, give it a little shake. I also worry about doing it this way as well because I don't know if you get the um, glue onto this pen. It could affect the way it actually comes out, so this might not be the smartest idea. I think I truthfully, if you're going to use both these products together, I would do the pen first on a dry eyebrow. It's not applying as well um, if you put the glue on first. It looks a little bit more natural. A tiny bit more natural when you do the glue first, but I don't think the pen applies really as good as the other side. Okay, so this will be my review on the three new NYX products. So I do think that these are great products. So this is a very unique formula. There's nothing like this on the market, really, um, that I know of anyways at the drugstore. So definitely really unique. And if you like a glossy look that stays all day, try these out. I think you will like them. And then when it comes to these two brow products, I do think they are good. So for me, I'm not the type of person who normally uses a pen like this. It's just not kind of my thing, but I will probably incorporate it into my brow routine by using the Maybelline, uh, the brow extensions, and I'll probably flick this in the ends to give it a little bit more of a hair-like stroke. This brow gel is probably the best brow gel uh, at the drugstore for actually holding the brows in place. So if you like that laminated look, you will freaking love this. I just, it, again, it, you don't get a ton of product. The spoolie is really good though. The spoolie is really precise, really small. I do though suggest wiping some of the product off because it is very thick. The product definitely dries down, but I think it could get goopy. So just be careful with that. Don't apply too much and if you're going to use both of these items together I do think it's easier to go in with the brow pen first and then set your eye because I do find it a little bit harder to get this to apply properly to the brow and I worry about maybe the glue um, ruining kind of the brush tip and maybe the product not coming out as easy so that's just kind of my advice to you okay so this will be the end of my review I really hope you did enjoy it and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos and until next time I'll see you guys later thanks for watching